Kirsty Alsop took to Twitter and shared the news that Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe was returning to the UK, after being held in Iran for six years. The Location 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 presenter reacted to the pictures of the journalist shared on BBC's Newsnight where she admitted it made me cry. It comes as Nazanin and Anusha Ashouri were flown from Iran to the UK on Wednesday, March 16. Mum Nazanin was set to be reunited with her husband Richard and seven-year-old daughter Gabriella. She was first held in Iran in 2016 and accused of plotting to overthrow Iran's government, a claim she denied. Reacting to the news, Kirsty shared a candid tweet in view of her 426,000 followers. She penned, looking at the pictures on it, news night of Nazanin landing in Oman, on route home, has made me cry. We will wake to the news that she is back in the UK. To think next week, or even on Friday, she might be dropping off and picking up Gabriella from school is just wonderful. Twitter user, at E17Hero tweeted, I suspect there will be a whole lot of counseling and debriefing before life gets that far back to normal for her. Kirsty replied, Of course, this is so very far from easy, the lost years, drama and stress will take their toll in myriad ways. Nazanin and Anusha Ashouri have been reunited with their families in the UK after years of detention in Iran. The British Iranian nationals were met by their loved ones at RAF Bryce Norton in the early hours of Thursday. In candid photos taken of the moment the family being reunited, Nazanin's seven-year-old daughter Gabriella rushed to hug her mother, who she had not seen in years. Taking to the micro-blogging site today, Kirsty retweeted photos of the family reunion. The Channel 4 presenter also noted that Nazanin was wearing blue teamed with a yellow scarf. The property expert questioned if the move was to show solidarity with the people of Ukraine following Russia's invasion of the country. Kirsty wrote, Is it possible that Nazanin is wearing blue and yellow deliberately? With all she has been through could she really have also thought to send a message of solidarity to other people seeking freedom via her clothes? It's a lovely thought anyhow. Susanna Reid reacts to Ranveer Singh's replacement on GMB latest Amanda Holden, 51, puts on eye-popping display in silky blouse pictures Gemma Atkinson narrowly avoids serious wardrobe malfunction Instagram, Twitter user, at David BTN commented, I was thinking that as well, very lovely gesture if true. Kirsty replied, it is true. Bless her. In a follow-up post, the presenter remarked, You've been imprisoned, separated from your husband and child, you hope to be free, but have to leave your parents in a country you may never be able to return to, they've already been parted from your brother, but still you manage to dress to express solidarity with, Ukraine flag, wow. Nazanin's family lawyer Hajat Kermani said she had been freed alongside Anusha, following talks between London and Tehran over a £400 million debt between the UK and Iranian governments. Foreign Secretary Liz Trust said, I can confirm Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe and Anusha Ashouri will return to the UK today, and Morad Tahiz has been released from prison on furlough. They will be reunited with their families later today. A statement from Truss continued, Their release is the result of years of hard work and dedication by our brilliant diplomats, and intensive efforts over the past six months. I pay tribute to my predecessors and the Prime Minister, who have all worked hard to resolve this issue. We have the deepest admiration for the resolve, courage and determination Nazanin, Anusha, and Morad, and their families, have shown. 
they have faced hardship that no family should ever experience and this is a moment of great relief. In parallel, we have also settled the IMS debt, as we said we would. Iranian state media said the UK had settled a long overdue debt of around £400 million to Tehran, 